This is a Toshiba Satellite L655. This one started its life as a S5096, which came stock with the P6200 Intel processor. A lot of the L655s came with that processor stock. Um, this particular model also had 3 gigs of RAM. I got this one uh, used with BIOS issues and no hard drive. So I fixed the BIOS issues and I ended up installing a Intel uh, S710 series SSD. I'll uh, launch Specky here. We'll see if I can zoom in on that. There you go. Um, as I said, I installed uh, S710 series 100 gig SSD um, and I upgraded to 8 gigs of RAM. Running like that it, it ran pretty well but I did notice that the CPU was max, maxing out a lot. I also noticed that the graphics were not up to snuff if I was playing games online. I did some research and I found that the P6200 graphics were not quite as good as the uh, Intel i series. So I decided to look at the i5s because I had seen that some L655s came with them stock. <coughs> I found that the uh, i5 430M, 450M, uh, 460M, 480M, uh, 520M, 540M, and I think 580M uh, would all work with this chipset and and had similar power ratings um, so I went ahead and went with the 450M because that's what I could get uh, for the cheapest at the time I also tried an i7-720QM out of my Cosmio and this laptop wouldn't even power up the power rating just isn't good enough on this laptop for that uh, I'll show you real quick here. With this setup, I mean, it's plenty fast, so I'm not planning on upgrading it any further. But I'll show real quick. If I go into Control Panel and Windows Defender and do a quick scan, this used to take several minutes in the past. Once I had this set up, um, As you can see, 11, 12, 13, and about 14 seconds, and it did a quick scan. Now, I don't usually do quick scans, but I use that as a gauge to, to rate how well it runs. This system, I did decide to install the uh, Windows 8. Um, I've run Windows 8 on several computers. Toshiba had all the drivers for this particular model, so I decided to go ahead it has Windows 8 Pro on it. The only thing I don't like about the Windows 8 is that they remove gadgets to promote their apps and I used to use the CPU gauge on all my computers. If you see any of my other videos, even the videos with Windows 8 uh, customer preview and release preview, they all had the CPU gauge and uh, when they came out with Windows 8 uh, release Pro, um, they got rid of the CPU gauge and I have not found an app yet that you can use to add that again. So at any rate these are some options here for your L655. As I said a lot of them had the P6200. It's a direct swap to upgrade to the i5-450M or any of the other i5s that I mentioned. Um, but yeah it's a fast little computer. It's not a super gaming system. Uh, you can't go out and play very graphic intensive games with this but it's good for like online games and stuff like that runs them just fine no issues whatsoever so i hope this helps